In this video, I will show you how to assemble ground adjustable pitch propeller. The assembly process is the same without considering the number of blades. To assemble the prop, we need the hub, M6 bolts to assemble the hub, two hex wrenches of 5 and 6 mm, M8 bolts to install propeller on the engine. The propeller blades are numbered and they have a scale for rough adjustment of the angle. Here are the stickers, uh, numbers and scale. To fine-tune the angle you will need a digital inclinometer as well. On the hub you can see the same stickers with the same numbers as on the blade shanks. Install blades into one half of the hub so that the number on the blade shank corresponds with the number on the hub socket. Then screw together two halves of the hub using M6 bolts that are supplied with the prop. Do not draw the bolts up until tight. The blades have to be fixed but not loose in the hub sockets. You have to be able to rotate blades, which is necessary to adjust angle. You can see that the blade is fixed, uh, but not loose in the hub socket. Now we have to rotate blades a little bit in order they could sit in better into hub sockets. On the hub there is also a scale that can be used for rough adjustment of the angle of the tack, but for more precise setting uh, you need a digital inclinometer. Let's start with the rough adjustment of angle. Uh, for example, we decide to begin the angle adjustment process with the third uh, longer scale mark. Uh, repeat the adjusting procedure on all blades and please note that the same scale division has to be set on all blades. It's important to, say, uh, to set precisely the angle of blades, otherwise there will be vibration. Install the propeller on the engine and fix it with M8 bolts. At this stage do not tighten bolts strongly because we need to rotate blades to further fine-tune of the angle uh, with digital inclinometer. If you do not know what angle is needed for your engine, I would recommend starting the adjustment with the third or fourth scale mark on the hub. Then set the same angle on all blades and tight strongly. The information about ball torque will be displayed at the end of this video. Warm up uh, the engine, uh, then give full throttle and measure the maximum static RPMs with RPM meter. If the RPMs are higher than declared in the technical sheet, increase the angle. 
if the RPMs are lower, uh, so please uh, decrease the anger. Sometimes it's needed to repeat the adjustment process several times before you set the right angle. Uh, for the Tor uh, 250 uh, on the three blade propeller, we need 10 degrees angle. The angle is measured as 75% of the radius uh, of the blade. Now we have 130 centimeter propeller. Its radius is 75 uh, centimeter, uh, 65 centimeters, and 75% of the radius is 48.75 centimeters. The distance is measured from the center of the central hole of, of the hub and um, then put a mark on a blade. You do not need to buy a special device to fix inclinometer on the blade. For this purpose, we can use masking tape. Take inclinometer and put it um, put it in that way to have uh, to calibrate it. Then push the button zero and wait until you you can see zero. Then, without rotating the inclinometer, put it uh, to the blade in the place where you put 75% radius mark. Then take a masking tape and fix the inclinometer. The blade uh, has to be in horizontal position and now you can set the angle uh, rotating the blade. Uh, you see that I tighten bolt too strongly uh, and I cannot rotate blade uh, so I will loosen bolts a little bit. Rotating the blade you can set the needed angle. We need a 10 degrees angle, but 9.8, um, 9.9 .9 also will be okay. Repeat the adjusting procedure on all blades and please note that the same scale division has to be set on all blades. After that, cross tighten uh, M6 bolts. Bolt torque will be displayed at the end of this video. Then cross tighten M8 bolts. As bolts interact, repeat cross tightening of M6 bolts again. That's all, the propeller is assembled.